Welcome back. It's your Merc with a mouth. Ready right back for another episode of Dewan Moore Show. Where is Dewan Moore? Well, he's right here. With another episode of Thrift Store Madness. Where else can you get a sweet, sweet Deadpool mask? Got this from the thrift store. And this is another episode of Thrift Store Madness. And I'm going to be talking about all the pop culture crap that I got. So here we go. Oh, also, new desk, good looking bay. I really appreciate it. And Big Lena, thank you, Mom Dukes, for the new desk. So, here's the book. Here's the pen. So, every Monday, I go to a thrift store. They have crazy, crazy deals, 50% off of everything. So, what I did was bought what I wanted and what I needed and some things I didn't need. And I comprise a list of what they go for, what I pay for them, and how much I got a discount for at the thrift store because it's Monday Madness and everything is 50% off. So starting with this lovely Deadpool mask, I paid $149 and it typically, this was a hard item to price, here we go right out the gate, hard <laughs> item to price. Uh, Deadpool mask, plastic, I'll run you, set you back about what was it? That pull mask. Four bucks. I got it for 75 cents. And let's see. What else did we get from the thrift store? Chaos. Get soap. Battle pump. Get wet, bitches. When I get pumped up and pump up over 250 water balloons. And this is a Big Lots item that goes clearly for 10 bucks marked on the side. At the thrift store, they had it marked for $3.99. And it's quiet. A little too quiet. Anywho. So I got this item for 4 bucks. Paid 2 bucks on the 50% discount. And I will be sure to uh, do something pretty interesting with this in the future. Next up, I got a couple of Simons. I got Simon Air, and I have Simon Swipe. So one you swipe, and one you air. And uh, they both respectively go for about, well actually no. Simon Air goes for about 10 bucks online, and I paid $3.99 okay. $3 for it. And I got it for $1.99 with a 50% discount. And the swipe actually goes for a little bit more online, even out of box. It goes for about $25, bucks, which I thought was pretty crazy. So, some Simon. Uh, the guy that invented Simon actually passed away not too long ago. So, RIP Simon Inventor. I ended up paying about two bucks a piece for those. Gotta stay dapper. Some, uh, I am a fan of the ties. You guys can see that at home. Gotta keep the old Looney Tunes tie. Enough. These are these are these ties were actually printed in the early, late '90s, early 2000s. So they're actually becoming kind of vintage. So their prices range from anywhere between ten and twenty-five dollars for these ties. And I actually got this one. For $3.99, paid two bucks for it. And I looked it up online, and these particular blocked off Looney Tune ties go for about 10, 10, 12 bucks or so. So I will be looking dapper and funny, haha, -ha, at the next event. Out of here. What do we got next? Good old Chuck. Chuck finally paid off for me. Where you at, Chuck? Stop the music. Stop the music. I want you guys to check this out. I was like, I'm going to swoop this Beanie Baby because I'm a sucker for these things. Even though their real world monetary value is questionable, this guy was marked for $1.99. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Charlie Brown, Charles Schultz. I remember always waking up in the morning and grabbing a newspaper and making sure I read the daily comics because once upon a time there wasn't a thing called the internet to keep you mindlessly entertained 24-7 days on end. 
So, I did used to read the Daily Comics, and Charles Schultz, the creator and illustrator for the Peanuts, is, it was one of my favorite comic strips growing up as a kid. So when I saw this for $1.99, and I knew I was going to get it for the sweet buck, but I was like, let me scan this. So I scanned him, and good old Charlie Brown, this little teeny beanie baby, and if you can hear that, can you hear that? His music still plays, he still has both tags, and this little guy goes for $35. So Chuck finally paid off, good looking Chuck. You can chill with me for the rest of the show. Let's see. My bae knows that I'm trying to get this YouTube game together, so she's always on the lookout for things for me as well. So she picked me up a Clever Cam, which is pretty freaking sweet. The Clever Cam is... What to do with that stuff? Clever Cam. Ah, uh, three-in-one cover clam. Use it as a camera, web cam, or camcorder. So here's another camera to add to the arsenal. And Bay got this on 50% off Monday for the sweet, sweet price of uh, $250 after the 50% discount. So it was five bucks and she got it for $250. I priced it online and it goes for about 20 bucks. So good looking Bay again, double, double bang bang, good looking Bay. Next we have up, I pick, I'm a video game head, if you didn't know, this is, a, we play games, I play games, so, I play new games, old school games, and everything in between, so, I saw Gamesters Pro Racer for PS2, which is a steering wheel apparatus for PlayStation 2, so I will be getting my Midnight Club on in style, pimping the wheel. This uh, typically, I got it for $3.99, 50% off it was $1.99, and you'll be amazed to find out that this old school controller still goes for $18 to $29 online. Let's see here, what is up next? We like to keep things fresh, like flea market fresh, but with our food, so... I picked up this uh, Reynolds Handy Vac vu Vacuum Food Storage System with three bonus vacuum bags. Sorry, that actually was the camera woman hey, who picked this up because she is the bargain hunter and she likes fresh strawberries. And she picked this item up for six bucks, 50% off. I'll leave you at three. And a price check online left this. This one was crazy. Anywhere between 12 and Forty-six dollars for this, depending on where you get it from, ship from, and deliver to your house. So good looking bay on a forty-six dollar item for three bucks. Good job. Next up, ah, you can take it from me, Spider-Man. It doesn't pay to be a bad guy in my city. And you can believe that. <laughs> Um, Spider-Man Bank, I seen this, I was like, this is too lit, I didn't know it was a bank at first, I thought it was a statue, and I was like, this is slick, but if you, uh, have one of those if you've got a spare oh yeah, Spidey's gonna protect the money, so don't forget, commercials, uh, let's see, so yeah, cool Spidey Bank, I paid $5.99, got it for $2.50, Looked old Spidey up online and a Spider-Man bank on eBay is going for 18 freaking dollars. So I think I copped the deal on that. What do you guys think? Spidey. You can take it from me, Spider-Man. It doesn't pay to be a bad guy in my city. Not in his city. So you remember that. What else? That. This was a lit find. Per for uh, the show to get a lot more action-y. Because even though this is, says, uh... VTech Kitty Zoom Action Cam, and it says for kids, don't have to be a kid to use this. This is going to be a lit device to add to the arsenal of cameras. So that was two cameras that I just came up on. Thanks, babe, for the first. And I swooped the second one, which online goes for about $35. I picked it up for $9.99, and it was half off, so I got it for a sweet $4.99. What a deal. And it's brand new, still in the box. It's a little shook it up, but everything's brand new in the box, unopened, lit. 
Let's see here. Heading to the home stretch. Waka, 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 waka. Got a DJ Hero turntable. Another, this was the second hard item to price for this episode. This, I found, finally found a decent price setting on eBay. A turntable will set you back about 10 bucks. As you can see, $4.99 and I paid $2.49 for it. So I will be waxing some sweet beats on PS3 with my turntable for DJ Hero really soon. And last, but certainly not least, safety first on the Dewan Moore Show. We have an exit EEL, stands for Emergency Escape Ladder, 13 foot model ladder. Now if you guys didn't know, here's a little secret. I live on the second floor with one exit. Look, you know, I, now before, about a month ago, I called or I was checking prices for escape ladders because if there's a fire, I like to not break my shins jumping out of windows. You know, these things go for like two to three hundred dollars. So when I found this at the thrift store for ten bucks on half off, I knew I was getting it for the smooth five. I was like, this is the deal of that day. And I went and when I scanned it up online, this bad boy goes for anywhere between $106 and $200. Sorry, $179. I was embellishing. But it goes for about $179 maxing out. So definitely a peace of mind knowing I can get out of my freaking house if things go down in the kitchen or something. And that's all about it. I will leave a total for everything in the comment section below because I totally forgot to do the math for this. Anyways, this has been another episode of Thrift Store Madness. I'll see you next Monday for another installment. Be safe out there. Let me know what you find out in your thrift stores in the comment sections below. See you next time. Peace.